This is the Eggy Wegg Bath Bomb from Lush Cosmetics, part of the limited edition Easter range, and I can't wait to show you what it's like in the bath. So sit back, relax, stay tuned, and let's see what this bath bomb's like. The design of this bath bomb is really cute. I absolutely love the pink colour mixed with those eggs splattered onto the bath bomb. It is a really lovely design idea. Kind of reminds me of those egg sweets that you can get. I think you get them in Haribo. Um, it reminds me a little bit of that, which is really nice. And also, it is a limited edition from Lush Cosmetics Easter range. So I'm really excited to demo it for you. If you have not already subscribed, please do slay that subscribe button because it it would mean the world to me and I post lots of bath bomb videos. Anyway, let's see what this bath bomb is like in the bath. is a little bit more of a faster fizzer than some of the others that I have demoed recently. It is vegan and um, it costs £4.95, pence. again kind of average for a Lush Cosmetics bath bomb and it has this beautiful pink colour that shoots out of it. It is really beautiful and pink so if you do like pink then this is the bath bomb for you. I feel like the colour on top of the surface is a little bit pale, a little bit more orangey um, in yellow, and the yellow is making it more orangey as it goes along so it does change change colour. Um, I'm not too impressed with the bath art that this bath bomb is creating. Um, it just isn't vibrant enough for me. I really like vibrant bath bombs, um, but it does have a nice subtle scent to the bath. <laughs> As you can see, it does start to create a little bit of bath up, and then it kind of just moulds into this one big orangey colour. It's not quite as vibrant as it started out, or as pretty. Um, it does create a little bit of bath out, so if you do like taking pictures and enjoying the patterns it creates, it does create a little bit, but not as much as I would have liked. Um, the two key ingredients of this bath bomb are the Sicilian lemon oil, which is uplifting and cleansing, and also spearmint oil. But I have to say, it's not very strong. I didn't feel like the spearmint was particularly strong. I couldn't really smell it. And I do really like minty scents. I find it really refreshing um, and invigorating. I find it kind of opens up my sinuses a little bit. This wasn't as strong as I would have liked for a spearmint bath bomb, although I do know a lot of people aren't that keen on spearmint, so maybe that's why they held back on the strength of it. Um, but I'm not blown away by this bath, but it just isn't creating the bath art I like, and the scent isn't as amazing as I'd have hoped. Um, so I'm kind of in the middle here with this bath bomb. <laughs> Anyway, 
Anyway, guys, that is all for now. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of this one. Have you had it? Did you enjoy it? I would love to know. I love hearing all of your comments. Don't forget to slay that subscribe button as it would mean the world to me to have you a part of my bath bomb family. I post lots of bath bomb videos every single week. And um, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. I hope that you all have a wonderful magical, amazing day wherever you are in the world and I'll catch you very soon.